Hello and welcome to Mr. Tompkins EdTech. In this video, we'll be taking a look at the new Immersive Reader tool from Microsoft. Immersive Reader is designed to improve the reading experience for students with special educational needs and also students for whom the language of instruction might not be their first language. We'll be taking a look at which Microsoft products currently support this feature and how to access them in each of these applications. Firstly, let's take a look at Immersive Reader's key features. Essentially, Immersive Reader is a new view mode built into various Office and Office 365 applications. These allow you to space words, highlight, or break them into syllables. It, it implements proven techniques based on independent research for improving reading comprehension and increasing fluency for English language learners. Microsoft has been busy building Immersive Reader into many of its products so it can be used right within those applications. However, there is quite some variation as to which features are currently included in which application. In this video, I'm going to be demonstrating Immersive Reader within the OneNote for Windows 10 app, as this is currently the most complete version of the toolset. In OneNote, we can access the Immersive Reader tool from the View ribbon. You can see straight away that opening Immersive Reader gives a cleaner, less cluttered view of the text. There are three menu options I can pull out to adjust the layout to my own preferences. Firstly, within the font options, I have a slider for adjusting the font size and a toggle to add extra spacing, both word spacing and line spacing to my text. I have a choice of three reading fonts, including Comic Sans, which some research suggests is easier for dyslexic students to read. You can also pick a theme which will change the background color to something less harsh than black on white. And again, this is thought to improve readability. The Grammar Option tab allows you to break up words into their syllables. You can see they are separated by a small dot in between each one. You can also highlight different types of words like nouns, verbs, adverbs, etc. in different colours. The Reading Options tab allows you to turn on line focus, which greys out all but the current line of text, helping students to better concentrate on what is in front of them. And my personal favourite is Picture Dictionary, Picture Dictionary gives you a pop-up image for words when you tap on them. The pictures are really well thought out and give you a really clear idea of what each word means. This is a great tool for our EAL learners who can arrive with little English and perhaps Ill illiterate in their own language. Finally, the voice settings allow you to change the speed of the read aloud feature and you can also choose a male or female voice. Improve the reading experience for students with special educational needs and also students for whom the language of instruction might not be their first language. These options combine to allow learners to tailor immersive readers' features to their own particular needs, and together they create a great environment for students learning to read. Now, I've been demonstrating the version of Immersive Reader built into OneNote for Windows 10. This represents the most complete version currently with the most features. Microsoft have added Immersive Reader into lots of other apps, and they have released a couple of documents to help you keep track of developments over the various platforms, and I'll include links to these in the description below. To help summarize this for you, here are the versions that currently give you the same full functionality as we've seen here in OneNote for Windows 10. If you have Office Online, Office 365, you are sport for choice as Immersive Reader is included in OneNote Online, which you can access via the View ribbon, Word Online, which you can view, uh, you can access via the View ribbon, Outlook Online, you can access it here via the three epsilons at the end of this menu bar or from the down chevron after the reply button. Office 2016 users will find the experience a bit more limited currently. OneNote 2016 has no out of the box immersive reader feature, but you can install learning, the learning tools add-on from the OneNote website, which I'll put in the links below. This adds a limited version of Immersive Reader, but without the picture dictionary or the line focus tool.
Word 2016 has a built-in immersive reader tool, but this is even more limited. Again, no picture dictionary or line focus, and also it misses out on the grammar options for highlighting nouns, verbs, adjectives, etc. And the option for breaking words into syllables is also missing. Some good news for iPad users though. Whilst the word for iOS app has the same limited feature set as seen in its 2016 counterpart, the OneNote for iOS uh, app has the full set of tools. So if you want the best set of features currently available, your choices are Word Online, Outlook Online, OneNote Online, OneNote for Windows 10, and OneNote for iOS. Or in short, think Web Apps and OneNote. I really like this feature and I think it's going to be a really useful tool for lots of students at my school. Please like this video if you also found it useful and subscribe to my channel if you'd like to hear about more great tools for teaching and learning available through your Office 365 tenancy. See you again next time.